know this is Toya. I'm Toya. And this is Eric. And this is Jason. What a I surprise. am thinking. They're, they're making me laugh for, yeah. right when we were getting started. But this is the relationship. Yes. Thank you yeah. for joining us. In we case are you in didn't here. Know. This is Toy. Yeah, I was wondering because right. if you said you showed <laughs> us three and said which one is Toy, exactly, and you're like, oh, uh, it is a tough call. It's a tough call. I'm gonna go with the girl. <laughs> Let's go with the girl. Okay, perfect. But we're about to have a good time. We are doing a series the next four weeks, so this is one yeah. of four. We've never done that before. We've yeah. never done this. So yeah. good idea. You know what, Jason? This was all on you. Good How idea. That? How about that? Good idea. Finally, I get those. Can you imagine that? <laughs> We've been at this for those. three hey. years, and he finally I had a say, great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got to work my way up. I yeah. just I can't you just throw work it all way out up. there. Hey, man, by year 10, it probably you probably hey. bring something to the table regularly. You keep the people wanting more. Yeah. That's what you do. That's good. That's what you do. So the series is church taboos okay. so things that maybe the church has talked about or maybe hasn't and like how it's kind of shifted what are your thoughts so we're going to be talking about the breakdown what does God say what does the Bible say versus what does the church actually and say and what does Jason nice. say and so what does Jason gonna, say that's why everybody tunes there we go. what does the Bible right. say what does Jason say yeah could be the same might be way might different be oh different. my goodness <laughs> yeah. tune in and then you get to choose oh I get to choose who you want to follow <laughs> I get to choose. Follow, they get to yeah. choose. I think it's biblical. Yeah, follow okay. Jason as he follows or doesn't sure. follow let's, God. Let's, <laughs> doesn't follow. Yeah, let's go with that. I like okay. that. Yeah, Toya. Let's cool. Help, so help what's our topic here. for today? First one, <clears throat> drinking <throat> and marriage. <laughs> Drink, yeah. yeah. I just like the title, drinking and marriage. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like, we even get a lot of hits on that. <laughs> we uh-huh. are going to get Two yes. of my favorite things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Two exactly. Two of my favorite things. Or, or I do one because of the other. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, so they, they're, they're tied together. Could be tied Ooh. together. Marriage makes me drink. <laughs> yes. Or I got married when I was drunk. Could be. There oh, could, absolutely. There, there could be a variety All of stuff going on. All of that. It's tied. What, what, are we, what are we really going to talk about? Though? Yeah, what are we going to talk about? Well, that's it. What are people saying about drinking? A lot of people say that as a Christian, you shouldn't drink, right? That's what some people is would say. Is drinking okay? Is drinking okay? And that's right. probably what we need to bring up because this is church taboo. Right. Yeah. So what's the t- church typically say? When I say church, I sure. guess it could go because yeah. some people are Catholic, mm-hmm. some people are not. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got some I was brought ideas. up. You just don't. You just don't. It's mm. the devil's brew. So that was probably Southern Baptist. The devil. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Devil's brew, baby. You can't touch mm. it. So yeah, that's how I was brought up. How were you brought up? You know what? I don't remember my church ever really mentioning it when I was growing up. Okay. What about your family? Well, <laughs> my they, dad's side of the family, everybody drinks. Okay. Like that's just that's just so a norm. They weren't really okay. talking about the church model. No, they weren't talking about that. My mom's side, they really don't drink. So they really don't talk about it. So okay. I don't know. It was just so you one got of those one things. side that doesn't, and one side that that's that's, all that's the life. All right, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, my parents never really had alcohol in the house, hmm. but so I didn't really see them drink because I remember yeah. the first time I ever saw my dad like have a beer at like we were at, like some baseball game or something. And he got a beer, and I was like, "That's weird." <laughs> oh, like, really? What? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing, mm. dude? Yeah. Um, but they never really, it wasn't really talked about like it was bad. It just mm-hmm. wasn't around. Just and then I feel like as we got older, then it was like, then we yeah. did the same thing in our house. When our kids were growing up, we never had alcohol in the house. And, really? And some, uh-uh. yeah. You know, and then I, I think when mm-hmm. I was on staff at a church, mm-hmm. I think, and this probably will be part of the discussion, right, about what's okay and what's not okay. Uh-huh. I, I think there there's an aspect of... I don't know where other people sit on it, so I'm not going to yeah. be out at a restaurant having a drink and yeah. somebody from church yes. run into you. Now, yeah. if I'm on vacation somewhere else, yeah. I don't have a problem with drinking per se. Yeah. You're saying um, when you were on staff. Yeah, when I was yeah. on staff, but Makes sense. when I'm not. Yeah. Party on. Uh, yeah, party on. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. when the kids get older and, right. and move out, and we've got some stuff in the house, and yeah. we don't, mm-hmm. like, drink daily or anything, but yeah. I'm not as worried. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to give my kids, like, easy access. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, got hey, it. you know, right. I had those friends, right, where, yeah. you know, they could sneak into Dad's <laughs> liquor cabinet at any moment. Yeah. He had so much stuff he's he never going to notice. notice. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, but, you know, now we got the White Claw generation, so. That's, oh, white claw. <laughs> <laughs> that's not alcohol. I'd say, yeah. I know. I saw a meme the other day on the on the Beastie Boys. Now this is this will age us, and it was like the Beastie Boys did not fight for your right to party so you could drink White Claw. Yeah. Wow, that's true. 
That is true. I need that T-shirt. That's a good one. Yeah. We need need that T-shirt. I'm sure we're getting into this, but, you know, with me, the reason it was so taboo, because it was always the kind of what you brought up. You can't cause your brother to stumble. Yeah. You brought that scripture in. I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I think that's so. Let, so let's go historically. Okay. Mm. For the first 1800 years of, quote, the church, alcohol was regular. Yeah. They yes. drank alcohol. I yes. mean, it, the fruit of the vine was right. part of communion, the yes. Lord's yeah. Supper, right? Yeah. And so the yeah. Southern Baptists would say, oh, it's just grape juice. It's yeah. not fermented. It was not. There's no way. It was not. And yeah. so even like you look in, in Paul telling Timothy, like, you know, don't just have water, but you need a little wine for your stomach and your ailments kind of thing. So yep. Yep. so it was regular for 1800 years. Then mid 19th yeah. century, that's when some denominations were like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so some were like, let's just abstain. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. some were like, this is absolutely anti. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And then some... Lutheran, Roman Catholic, Anglican are like, the heck with you guys. We like the old model. So, you know, that was always the joke growing up. <laughs> I know for in Protestant circles was, oh, you're Lutheran? Oh, yeah, he drinks. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. You know, the Southern right. Baptists had like a hidden alcohol right. cabinet behind their bar somewhere. <laughs> yeah. The Lutherans, yeah, yeah. it's out everywhere. It's yeah, yeah. And so I remember when my aunt, I mean, I was probably, I don't know, 10, something like mm-hmm. that. My aunt married a Catholic. And so we went to the rehearsal dinner. She was Baptist married a Catholic and I walked in and saw the the priest drinking and I was just like oh yeah Whoa, you're and like- my mind was so <laughs> screwed up because I've been taught it's the devil's brew absolutely and yeah yeah so yeah it was up. it was <clears throat> back in the day I mean mm-hmm. until yeah, yeah. literally the mid 1800s it was a gift from God mm-hmm. yeah just don't overindulge and be drunk That's it. there you go um, yeah. but like everything else in the church I think sometimes our fear causes us to create rules yeah. right and hoping the rules will control behavior because right. we don't trust people to be spiritually mature and actually yeah. have the fruit of the spirit, yeah. which is self-control. Yeah. And so we need yeah. to create a rule yeah, well, around that. Sense. And yeah. so, yeah, for a lot of them, it's like, don't. Yeah. I mean, I do go with Timothy there with the yeah. stomach hurting. My stomach hurts every <laughs> night. Every night. <laughs> every night. Every night. If I don't have that stomach. wine, dude, that's you just, have your start, wine it's every it's night. turning every night. Yeah. 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 But then, too, I feel like our culture then, too, will say, okay, a glass of wine, that's fine. But the hard liquor, then it's like, eh, that may be too much. Hmm. You know, where they then will try to layer it, you yeah. know? So, I don't know. So, yeah, I think biblically speaking, mm-hmm. yeah, clearly – Drinking was in the Bible, yes. yes, and not frowned upon. Exactly. Drunkenness always has been right, right, right. You yes. look, at, look at Noah; that wasn't a good moment. Not mm-hmm. a good move. Right? <laughs> he got off the when ark, and, moment, right. and right. his kids found him naked, and exactly. you know all that yeah. kind of stuff. So, yeah. so that that's a good reason, yeah, probably not to. Um, but yeah. yeah, so I think you've got verses like Timothy where Paul's saying, don't just drink water, but drink this other stuff. So yeah. that that was clearly he was pointing more towards, I think right. this will help you feel better, not, not hey, man, let's yeah. drink tonight. Mm-hmm. Which is always funny growing up Southern Baptist where it was just grape juice. But you had the whole water into wine, the miracle, yeah. the miracle at yeah. the wedding. Yeah. yeah. And nobody could ever figure out that that was not grape juice. He turned water into grape juice. Yeah, it didn't. Right. Didn't, didn't have the same, yeah, wasn't, same miracle wasn't status. wasn't Welch's over there. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Yeah. 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 And they talked about yeah. how it was the best. Yeah, right? the best wine. You know? they, the best. Like, they're like, yeah. man, they brought out the best wine later. Yeah. Because you know? usually you bring out booms and yeah. <laughs> at the end. Dog 2020 <laughs> after after everybody's got a little, they have oh, no idea. Yeah. I don't know. Really? Didn't do ripple. That must be a, you know, East Texas thing. No? Ripple? No. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Sanford is Sunday. Ripple. There you go. Oh, Sanford is Sunday. Ripple. Ripple. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's high class. That's not bad. So yeah, you got you got Paul and First Timothy. You got like Ephesians telling you mm-hmm. not you know not to be drunk on wine, but be filled with the Spirit. You got right. Romans telling you back to you know where all foods clean, mm-hmm. but. Yeah. Like we, and I, I think that's got to be part of the equation at some point. I don't think it can be a yes, no, like, hey, yeah. it's in the Bible, it's good. Just as long as you're not drunk, it's fine. Right. If you had to draw a hard line, I think you could support that with Bible. But a lot of passages in the Bible let us know that we're, our lives aren't about us. And right. so if yeah. my drinking is a problem for you, 
because mm-hmm. of alcoholism in your right. family or you're mm-hmm. stumbling, then right. I, you know, I think part we give up some of our freedom to, mm-hmm. to right. you know, on behalf of somebody else. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so I don't think it's just a hard, fast yes, no. It's mm-hmm. like a yes, it's okay as long as you're not drunk. Mm-hmm. But right. Well, and I would go to you. is the. And this could be drinking. This could you could throw anything in the mix. But when you use anything to cover up oh, as a cover up, sure yeah. for what God maybe coping maybe mechanism, coping right? it, Yes, yeah. coping. So yeah, 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 that could be an issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. your wine every day for stomach. it's coping for your stomach. stomach. Yeah, but yeah, it's still coping stomach. your stomach. Maybe that ulcer has some, some other way to take care of it. Take yeah. it up with Timothy. I don't yeah. know. I'm just uh, <laughs> it was Paul. Right. Oh, Paul. Yeah. Oh, Paul wrote it to Timothy. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we do we need to talk about what happened in the Bible? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that. Timothy yeah. wrote to himself. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's named Timothy. That was yeah. the wine talking. Sorry, yeah. my oh my <laughs> gosh! Yeah. So pretty much, you just don't want it to become a god. Yeah, for sure. You know, sure, whatever, yeah. whatever the reason is, right? Because I know I think of even back in my younger days, it was like you can't have a party without the drinks. You know, right. you cannot step foot into the party without taking a couple shots. Nice. Like this is the way you would enter the party, right? So okay. it's like, so it turned into, oh no, if you're not drinking, this is whack. I don't want to be here, you know. So it's like when you when you really look at it to be a god, where it can turn hey, into what's whack addiction. Uh, whack or... translated uh, is uh, that's not very good. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, finish your story. You're Sorry. welcome. My bad. But so anytime that you see and it's turning into a guy, whether it be the addiction or just thinking that you have to have it to have fun, then that's where it's a problem. So yeah. sure. Let me mm-hmm. give you a stat. Ooh, there we go. I like stats. Fifty percent of marriages mm-hmm. where there is a heavy drinker, at least one, mm-hmm. end in divorce. Mm-hmm. Because of all the issues that get brought in, exactly. right? Right. You think you think about alcohol. So alcohol in general is going to lower inhibitions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to cloud judgment. Right. Mm-hmm. It's going to, you know, eke away at your your filters that yeah. should be there in relationship. That's probably the right. It's going to yeah. going to going to heighten some stuff. Right. So it's just man, there's a lot of damage. And then and then on top of that, just think about the extremes. Right. Right. It's going to cause some problems in your relationship. And right. so you really got to yeah. ask yourself, you know, Paul, again, this is Paul, mm-hmm. not not uh, um, not a guy named Corinthian. <laughs> Jason, I mean, um, I don't know. Yeah. that's whack. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> right. yeah. Is that right? Did I say that right. His right. Bible knowledge is whack. Is oh my goodness! Uh, uh, right. oh. I forgot where I was going. <laughs> I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, that's you were good. talking about you, Corinthians. Yeah, yeah, I know, but yeah. you you ruined my. Oh, Paul was saying it. <laughs> you know, Corinthians. all things are permissible, but not all things are beneficial, right? Oh, and so, you so yeah, you could do it, but. Is it has right. value to your life? Exactly. Um, I don't know. Well, I mean, you, okay, you talked about party, going to party. Of course, we're at the year, time of year, where yeah, everything's a party. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah Toya drinks year, yeah, all of year. December, usually, from what I've heard. No. She, she does what? Drinks all of December, from what I've heard. Really? Me? Just December? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Gotta exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> end the year with <laughs> a bang. Well, I guess so. Yeah. Doubles it up in December, maybe. Not really. No, uh, okay. You know, it's no. all right. I'm experimenting with mocktails now, but go ahead. With mocktails? What? Yeah. That's any translation? That's a mock is without. like fake without alcohol. Without. Oh, wow. yeah. What's the point? It's just still the social. You know, I don't want to just drink water all the time or just pop. I got you. Yeah. Paul doesn't want Timothy to drink water all the time. Right. That's true. So he would support your mocktails. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. We support that. Well, but Jason, Jason was well, going somewhere before I wasn't going interrupted him. So, <laughs> so, so we're, we got a lot of parties going on this yes. time, right? You yes. Right? I thought I would bring this more festive. So you remember last year about this time I did the whole meals or dishes based on yeah, the time Yeah, we had to period. guess like which time, time period, period that was hot in. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think so, I won that. I think you probably yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. This year well, I did good, here's, so here's, maybe that was the, the end of that. Toyo's only won like two contests ever, so if it's not uh, one of those two, I did win. You so might. I great, think yeah. you're gonna get this one. So I've gone a step further. Like I pretty much am the only one that goes a step further on the show. True. So <laughs> true. I put in the effort, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh huh. So so we're gonna do the same thing. You know, we got these holiday dishes, but this is specifically desserts. Okay. Holiday desserts. Holiday right? desserts. Oh, I'm nervous. You got to do the same thing. Pick what uh, what decade it comes from. Right. What decade it comes from, but. 
the extra mile is I actually found some of these recipes and made. Oh, them. so and we, you, so you got to taste it, eat them, see if you like it. If you don't, it's it. the recipe. It's not me. Yeah, certainly. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> did Lisa yeah, yeah. taste test any of this? Uh, That's a no. I don't think That's so because note. some yeah, of these, yeah, yeah. when she hears a name, she goes, Ooh, I'm out. So oh, man. Uh, I don't think she tastes we really good at these. So. Okay. so let's get the crew to help me out here. Let's start with this okay. cake, okay? okay? I'll tell you the oh, name of the cake. cake. Okay. Okay. We, okay. we got to guess the, uh, you gave us some decades yes, here. So yeah. we're going to guess the decades. First of all, so, all right. say, let's, yeah. let's do this. Let, let's say... Is it good? Should we should we bring it back? Okay. Oh. And then and, and then, then we have to get the deck. Let's do the cake first. Okay. Ooh. We got some crew help here. Cake. I like cake. cake. There's cake. There's oh, cake. Yeah, that, I like that. A it's got, cake. A little, got a little Look powder on it. I got you guys yeah. covered too here. Got some yeah. raisins yeah. maybe in there. Cut a little. This, this kind of looks like a good in. pumpkin. So you don't dribble. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, there you go. Spoon it. You got to spoon it. So you got to spoon it all. All right. So let's see what we got. Tomato soup cake. Is tomato this, soup cake. Can I talk tomato? about it? As I, it's a little stiff as I'm cutting so it, into it. Oh, yeah. It's a very dense. Yeah. It actually has tomato soup in it. Really? Yep. It's got it tastes tomato. more like a like a kind of a pumpkin cake. Yeah. And it's I'm, got a lot of spice. I'm here for it. Do you taste the tomato soup at all? Uh-uh. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tastes of raisins. It's yep. a raisin pumpkin cake. Yep. I yep. like it. It's got cloves. All right. So we got to, what do you think? Bring it back, Toya? Mm-hmm. I'm for it. There I'm having go. another bite. Look at that. It's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. What what decade? I like that. Raisin pumpkin cake. But it has tomato soup in it. This is tomato soup cake is what this is 1940s. called. 1940s. I'll say 20s. This was 1920s, around the Depression. They used this, yeah. 1920s. All, All Tori right. did was bounce keep off your, of me and go. No, I thought of the Depression. Keep your spoon. I really did think of it because like he said, no, I'm like, why right. would they put tomato soup in a cake? Because that's all they had. That's all they had. All right, so let's go with the okay. pie next. I was going to call I'm you. I'm telling a, you. I was going to call pie. you a liar, but no. Okay. All right, all right. We got pie next. Okay. Oh, there you this go. makes me nervous. There you go. This is uh, this is this is Indiana sugar cream pie. Indiana. Indiana yes. sugar cream pie. Yeah. Yeah, Indiana sugar cream. Look at that. That ain't a bite. Get a bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm You're not afraid. a big. I'm yeah. I'm not a big pie. <laughs> not a big pie. Pies. Mm-hmm. Pies are superior over cake. There's no Indiana question. sugar cream. Yeah, Indiana sugar cream. 1950. It's it's all right. I'm gonna go with 40s again. This is actually 1850. Oh, wow. I was off 1850. by a hundred. Yeah, by a century. <laughs> Jack's <laughs> like, oh, I was so close. That was a century. <laughs> by a century. That's actually not bad, Jason. I'm okay. gonna get one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. decent, but yeah. You, what is it you called again? Indiana sugar cream. I would, I would, would take the uh, cake over that. Yeah. yeah. You done with that? It's a little dense yeah. for pie it, for me. It is dense. Mm-hmm. I could tell by by making it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's go with the mm. with the colorful stuff right there. Yeah, it's pretty good though. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, oh, this there is you go. this is a this is a jello. It's called stained glass gelatin. Stained glass gelatin. Is it is, is g- green and orange jello bites yep. in some type of whipped cream or cool whip. There you go. Uh, is it 1950 or 1970? It's called what? Stained glass gelatin. Stained glass you gelatin. You notice I haven't tried it yet. No, I'm, I'm watching you. I'm that a little, little bitty bite. A I'm little, a little nine, nervous. 1910. You take Lisa bites, you know, when she's scared mm-hmm. or something. Get in there. 1910, no, no, no. bro. Make us proud. Get in there. 1910. Well, 1910, yeah. Feels like a good stained glass yeah. decade. <laughs> I'm going to go with 50, 1950. 1950. She's oh, got geez, it. She's, she's killing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's wow. not eating, though. She's nibbling. I know. It doesn't count. Do I get bonus points for shoveling a bunch of this junk down? You should. That's not bad. You should. That's not bad. That's it's not just bad. jello with a little whipped right, cream. Let's do the cups over there. We're doing I like cups that. over there. Mm-hmm. All right. What in the world? There you go. Oh, oh I yeah. like this. Yeah. I had cute. this when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Did you? Maybe that'll uh-huh. give you him. Maybe it yeah. won't. Maybe it will, yeah. Was so, it originated from when so, you were a kid? So we, I got, don't know. we got, looks like a little brown pudding in the bottom mm-hmm. with some mousse. crushed up brown Oreos. Pudding? I don't make pudding, I make Oreos mousse. on top with a couple uh, worms on top of that. It's the old, you know, worms and so, dirt. Thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Is this 1980 or 1990? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When did these worms come out? Mm-hmm. <laughs> when did the worms come oh, out? This is good, dude. Yeah. Keep guessing, Toy. I'm going to do whichever one. <laughs> you, whichever one you don't pick, I'm going to do, because those are the two I'm looking at, too. Oh, man. 
Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go with 80. Nah, that I gotta go ninety. I can't go seventy. It's so nineteen eighty. Uh huh. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Nineteen eighty. All right, keep your spoon. No, actually, good. you don't need a spoon for this next one. Well, I'll Unless keep you this. want. Yeah, we'll keep it those. Yeah. All right. Uh, those are good. That brings back memories. What I'm talking about. Cookies. All right. <laughs> All right. So. Not bad. Reach in there and grab one of those. Did they drink anything? Oh, these are good. I love these. There you go. These like are some of my favorite. Those are Absolutely. Just these, are the, no. these are the frosted molasses. These are some of my favorite. I'll go buy, buy a bag at Kroger of these right there here. You go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Frosted molasses. Mm -hmm. So when did that come out? Mm -hmm. Tradition. These are tradition. This is like when it was a big thing. 40. 1940? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, talk to me, molasses. I love 1910. These you know what? This goes all the way back to 1800. Oh, this is like 1800. Yeah, molasses but I was closer. <laughs> so closer. I should go ahead and get that. You, by 110 you years, that. you yes. You already got two points. What do you need? I you was got, closer to 1800. Three. You got three points. She do? Yeah, yeah. She got the uh, what? You get? Oh yeah, she got tomatoes. Let's well, not 1920. talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stained that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Huh. yeah, you're good. Interesting. Look at her. Very good, but there I eat those too. So. Yeah, those are good too. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you go. That was fun. Oh, so, that bam. You got to you got to feast and you won. Now it makes me want to drink Look a little that. bit. It you does. probably should have had drinks with it. I thought I don't about know that. mocktails. I thought mocktails. about that. Maybe we'll make some mocktails for. Well, we did show. have that one drinking game that he made That's us do. That's why I'm saying you probably with, didn't with want the us to make that butter soda, <laughs> and, and yeah. I wanted to taste like bad diapers. So, yeah. Yeah. all yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah. Butter. that was nice to you this time. Yeah, right, Toy, drinking good. in marriage. What's your What's your take? What you got for us? Be careful. Need, oh, okay. Okay. I'm like, right. be careful. Yeah. So I will say, it's crazy though because I have witnessed this in my own marriage where Ahmad was a very heavy, heavy drinker. social drinker. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he liked to have the, the cocktails in the house too, but he wasn't a big deal at home when it was just us, but he right. just liked to have it on stash, right? Yeah. Hmm. Or if anybody came over. But whenever he went out, it's like, oh man, what are we drinking? Boom, what we boom, got going? Boom, knock him let's dead. go, yeah. let's go, let's so go. So did he become a different Ahmad when he, he did He did, that? but let me All tell right. you, God is good. Because he literally, one day he was just like, you know what? I'm cutting out the hard liquor. No reason. Just, I just, oh, you know, my so desire. There was, there was some reasons. Well, you yeah. know, my desire is gone, right? Right. Then well, maybe a year later, he was like, now I'm cutting out the wine. I just don't desire it. Yeah. It just makes me feel funny. I just don't want it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what's happened naturally yeah. you know so it wasn't even so did you just go ahead and you're like well we got all this well, alcohol might as well <laughs> knock it up knock it out so well. we don't waste money oh no because at that time we probably didn't really have much it phased out anyway over oh, that gotcha. over that time over that period of time at that time which insinuates that there's something different in the now time so you drink a lot now no i don't oh, I, okay. i'm still a social drinker but i was mm. never a heavy drinker anyway yeah. so i'm still the same do you got stuff at the house Mm -mm. No. House no. is out, just social. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. note to and self, but we're not going over to their house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you, you don't need to leave your house because J Jason's yeah. a non-social drinker. He's oh, like, I don't goodness. really want to have to deal with anybody. Yeah, I'm just going to have some wine at home yeah. with my wife. Right, so. right, right. But, yeah. So, no. Because yeah. I guess I'm like you growing up. We didn't really have drinks in the house. My dad had beer every now and again, but mm -hmm. not. You know, it wasn't every single day that we had a stopped house of beer. Yeah. Um, and so I'm like, eh, it's just something you do when you're out and you feel like it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Uh, which I think the way I grew up, honestly, I, I mean, I think that creates more of a um, curiosity than mm -hmm. than just, yeah, we drink and my kids see me drink and they mm -hmm. see me drink responsible. And yeah, yeah. Versus, oh, don't touch this stuff. It makes yeah. me go, hey, wait a minute. Why don't I want to touch this stuff? But if you mm -hmm. can't. Yeah. If, if Jason's kids see him, you know, sleep on the couch. Like, like, <laughs> still, right. Yeah. Still asleep you know at noon the next day. <laughs> right. He's naked right. on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. We know what happened. Yeah. Yeah. shaved mm -hmm. in two right. years. Right. Right. We might have a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for some people, drinking can cause problems in marriage. Yeah. Exactly. So I got, a couple, I got a Ooh. couple thoughts on that. Okay. So you can tell me if this happened in your marriage, Toya, mm -hmm. when you were heavily drinking. So <laughs> number one, I think it it absolutely causes tension, worry, anxiety, right? If you got one who's drinking, right? Because oh, it sure. could be an addiction. It, mm -hmm. Are they drinking and driving? Right. Or, you know, are the kids right. going to see it? Yeah. You know, right. all the stuff that comes with it. Well, are they going to make a bad decision? Because yeah. sometimes when they drink, they make bad decisions. Mm -hmm. and So that's going to happen. Yeah. Um, fertility issues. 
Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. That. So, uh, alcohol I started. Dam- <laughs> Oh. <laughs> to avoid that, yeah. Yeah. alcohol damages sperm, yeah, and uh, and it can hinder women from getting pregnant too. Mm, yeah. um, so okay. I think that's always a possibility. Fi- financial strain, it's well, yeah. expensive. Uh, it's if expensive. you're buying alcohol often, yeah. it's expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think right. that can be a problem. Intimacy, obviously, yeah. it's going to affect your emotional intimacy and connection, yeah. and you're much like more likely to say stupid stuff yeah. when you're drinking and yeah. do damage sure. and all that kind right. of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then just uh, emotional and unav- availability. Man, I mean, a lot of people are coping, right, and dealing with stuff and using yeah. it to numb. And so, yeah. you know, yeah. um, even in moderation, yeah, what people would call I never, I never get drunk, mm-hmm. right? Well, yeah, but you, because you know, the definition for heavy drinking is either yeah. somebody who drinks to drunkenness or more than six at a time. Mm. So someone could be like, dude, I only had like five glasses <laughs> of wine. Half, didn't go six. <laughs> I only had, and I'm not fully drunk. <laughs> right. I'm like, eh, you're probably not real present either. Right. right. Yeah. Um, so mm-hmm. yeah. I think you, we got to be careful. That's true. So how do you handle the, we weren't, you know, wasn't this way than we, when we were dating, but they drink more now and one spouse isn't happy with it. Obviously there's got to be some communication, but that can be a. Sure. You got to You got to address it. And again. We're always going to, I'm always going to run down this road. Community. Yeah, Your yeah, spouse right. don't want to listen to you. Get some people involved. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Especially if it's negative, have a negative impact on the relationship. Yeah. yeah. And that takes me to a past episode. Ooh. Mm. Number 151. How does your spouse process suffering? Because yeah. if they didn't heavily drink before and now they're doing it now, what has changed? What is going on in their mind, in their heart to where they feel like they're leaning on alcohol to escape, right? Yeah, yeah. Like like what what are they trying to deal with? Mm-hmm. So that would be my question. Yeah. But another episode to check out is number 146, how do I encourage my spouse without pushing my own agenda? So cuz we want to encourage them to be healthy, Pour but we want to encourage them hey, in a honey, healthy have you, way. Have you seen my Jack Daniels? <laughs> no, that's nope. crazy. Where to go? Yep. No. I'm but in a healthy way. Just distracted by a white guy eating a worm over here. <laughs> no. It was good. <laughs> but thank you so much yeah. for joining us. We are getting out of here. So make sure that you like, follow, 80s. subscribe, mm-hmm. all of that. And just share. Just mm-hmm. share. All we want to do is give advice. We love it. Yeah. Bye. Be wise. Whack. Bye.